When I was 11 years old, I got adopted by a German family. For just one month after that, they got rid of me. I bet they couldn't handle me any longer. And that was a very interesting experience that I want to talk about today. Hey there, my name is Dania. I'm from Belarus, Minsk, but since 2018, I live in Bremen, Germany, and I share about my cultural experience here on this channel. So if you're interested, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. I don't know if this program exists to this day, but 15 years ago, Belarusian families could send their children to Germany for one month to improve their health conditions. I mean, officially. I don't really know the politics behind it. I only remember that the program was somehow connected to Chernobyl situation and it was sponsored by the German state to like help Belarusian kids. I mean, we weren't sick or disabled. We were just a bunch of kids that came to Germany to have fun and we did have a lot of fun. We traveled across the Germany a lot and we visited a lot of interesting places and also amusement parks and swimming pools and it was fantastic. But living in a family with basic English knowledge and no German knowledge was a challenge for 11 year old me and nowadays when I think about it, it is so crazy. How could my family send a young child to a country they've never been, to a family they've never met for one month uh, without even her knowing the language? And also, how could the German family accept me? Also, the person they've never seen before, they don't know and they also don't know anything about my country and our traditions or anything. How did that happen? I know that it was sponsored by Germany, so the family got like a certain sum of money for me and um, they didn't really have to spend their own money on me. But still, I'm a child you don't know. <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> and I was living with uh, the same age as me, girl uh, and her parents. and. It was a little bit complicated when you suddenly stop being a single kid and the center of attention in your family. Of course, you don't like the person that just came out of there out of nowhere without your permission and <laughs> just takes all of their attention from your parents and their relatives and neighbors and everyone else just because it is a foreigner. So I understand why she did not like me, but uh, that also was the reason why it was that difficult for me to live there because I wanted to have friends and I wanted to be friendly, but without knowing the language, I couldn't even explain myself to her. And I was also very shy. And I also felt that she didn't like me. That's why I tried to communicate with her as little as possible. And uh, if not for the trips with other Belarusian kids that also got to live in different German families, I would be very lonely there. But I really liked the trips and the possibility to not see that family that I was staying at. Uh, not because they were bad or anything, but because I also missed my family and because uh, lack of the communication uh, made me feel left out sometimes and we also had certain conflicts when we miscommunicated and didn't understand each other and uh, it felt really wrong. For example, I remember the situation when I literally ran out of underwear because I was sent to Germany with uh, enough underwear for like two weeks and then they needed to be washed. But I really felt embarrassed to tell that mom that she needs to wash my clothing. I mean, they were in their washing bag uh, near the washing machine anyway, so I was kind of waiting that she gonna uh, do that. Uh, and uh, I didn't want to remind her to feel like I'm demanding something and I felt that this is something very embarrassing because this is also underwear. So I called my mom and asked her what to do and uh, my mom told me that I should just wash them myself like I normally would because in Belarus we are sharing the chores and I was helping my mom at home and I knew how to use the washing machine and I was washing the dishes and um, washing the floor uh, from time to time because this is how Belarusian family runs 
runs. Everyone helps because everyone is living under the same roof. So apparently I wasn't supposed to do that because in Germany the mother was the one who was doing the chores and I needed to get her permission and I also was using a very expensive washing powder or something but I chose the washing powder that I recognized because we also had this brand in Belarus so I didn't really think of am I supposed to use it or not I wanted to help with the chores because for me it felt normal and I also felt like it's going to be very shameless to ask her to do something like that for me when I can do it myself but uh, <laughs> she got really angry at me and I felt kind of pissed as well because I wanted to help but I got scolded in return so that miscommunication uh, was kind of regular in that family and I was really happy that uh, they were kind of married to another family where uh, there was one woman that knew Russian because years ago she migrated from Russia but uh, then she got married in Germany and she got kids there and her kids were also my age but they didn't know Russian but at least she knew it so she could translate it for us and she was really nice to me she was really helpful she was explaining me a lot and she was teaching me some basic German words to give my German family a hint of what I want when I don't know how else to explain this. I'm really grateful for that woman's job. She really was not supposed to do that because I was officially staying by another family and they were paid for taking care of me. But she was doing it out of her free will. She felt sorry for me not understanding anything, not knowing the language and she also had kids my age and she really loves kids and she was really spending a lot of time with me, helping me, teaching me stuff and uh, she was really, really, really sweet and I kind of want to meet her and like find her but the only thing that I remember is that she is called Rosa and she has three kids uh, two of them are my age and one of them is uh, a girl that is like seven or ten years older and I knew that uh, they lived somewhere near Lea. It's a very small town that most of you probably never heard of. So if you know a woman like that or if you are that woman, <laughs> I'm that annoying girl that you had to explain everything to and thank you a lot and let's meet up because I'm so grateful. Overall, it was a really great experience and I'm very thankful to my parents that they risked that because I learned a lot and it also motivated me to learn English better so I could communicate with it properly and not on the level that I had when I was 11 years old. And if I could repeat this, I definitely would. Thank you guys for your attention. I will catch you next week. Bye! And also one funny story from that period, when I was staying at that family, there was a boy in the neighborhood that was a year younger than me. But you know, when you're 11 and boys are 10, you feel like you're so much older. So I wasn't really paying attention to him, but that was my way of flirting because he was following me around and I was feeling proud. Anyway, we somehow spent a lot of time together, we played together and at some point his family and the family that I was staying uh, took a trip together on a boat, which was, you know, very romantic and I guess that's why it inspired the boy to come at me, uh, took my shoulders and like say to me right into my face, I love me and <laughs> my level of English I guess was slightly better so I understood that he wanted to say I love you but instead with all of this romance in his face with all of the excitement he said I love me and I found it so funny that I started laughing and then I started laughing even more because I realized that I don't know how to explain to him that I'm not laughing at his feelings I'm laughing at the situation and the phrase that he just said wrong and I couldn't explain this to him so he got really offended and I felt really awkward that this miscommunication happened so if you are that boy I did not reject you <laughs> but this is awkward